La 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 la. Hey, what's this? I think I know what this is, so it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Alright, so let's see what's in this little box then. I'm just going to tear right into it. Alright, nothing else in that, so let's check that out. And let's see what we got. The world is flat. I always thought it was round. Okay, here we are. Wow, all that packaging for just those. These are my JFETs. These are my MPF 102 JFETs, I believe. Yep. I had to order these all the way from Hong Kong because there's nowhere else I can get them. But finally, now I can get on with part two of the Amplify Preamps video. Anyway, in the previous video in this little two-part mini-series, you might remember that I made a push-pull preamp from an ECC or 12XA7 tube. And this is the schematic right here. I also decided to take some measurements to see what the voltages were at various points in the circuit. So 250 volts was the supply. We got 120, about 125 volts here and about 1.2 volts here, which is pretty much what I expected. There is a little mistake on this schematic though. It's not the original schematic, but it's the same circuit. Um, I accidentally marked this capacitor here as a 0.1 microfarad because I wrote 10 microfarads there and then thought I'd made a mistake. So I put a little sticker over that and wrote in 0.1 microfarad, but then I remembered that I did use a 10 microfarad. So yeah, just a, uh, yeah, that's a 10 microfarad, but yeah, a 0.1 microfarad would work anyway. So it uh, doesn't really matter. Anyway, what we're going to do now is see how well the JFET equivalent of that circuit works. Well, that didn't take long. I guess it's time to give this a test. Right, okay. I've got my external powered speaker hooked up. I do actually have two of those, but you know, since we're only monitoring from a mono source, I only need one, so I'll remember this time to turn it on. So, let's power this thing up. Make sure nothing releases the magic smoke. Anyway, this circuit is supposed to have a gain of about a thousand, according to the schematic I found on the internet. So, I'll be the judge of that. Now, I've got my microphone plugged in. Now, I'm going to turn the volume right down, because we don't want it coming out squealing loud like last time. Okay, so turn the microphone on. I'm going to turn the volume up. Buh. Okay. Well, it's definitely amplifying, but... I wouldn't say that's a gain of a thousand. Unless I've done something wrong. Well, there is definitely gain, because... If I disconnect the microphone and then touch the input capacitor, it just doesn't seem to work with the microphone for some reason, which is weird. Okay, testing for amplification now. And for some reason, my little frequency generator has gone up the spout that I made, which is this little thing here. It has days when it decides to work and days when it doesn't decide to work. And this is one of the days when it's decided that it's not going to work. So, as an alternative solution to try to find out how much gain we've got, I'm using my oscilloscope's calibration output to provide us with a signal, which is one kilohertz square wave. And I've got both tracers set onto the same. So, this is the input, and this is the output. What kind of amplification is that? And no, it's not my bad wiring or anything like that. I've wired up that circuit exactly how it says. And this is what I get. We want amplification, not reduction. Alright, well, I thought I'd try a more traditional style of JFET amplifier, which is this circuit here. 
except I'm using a 470 microfarad capacitor here and for this resistor I'm using a variable resistor that way I can find the exact amount of resistance I need for the most amount of gain. So with my drain resistor set to 2k which is limited by this resistor here to make sure that when I have this potentiometer all the way up it doesn't go any lower than 2k so I don't blow my JFET there is amplification which is only about seven times amplification at the moment but so I adjust this resistor can find I'm gonna sneeze I was gonna sneeze back then but it went up it went back up my nose okay we need to put that on a little bit less I can find the exact resistance that I need. That seems right about there is where we get the most gain. So we've got about 42 millivolts going in and we're getting about 620 millivolts out. So that's a gain of about 14, nearly 15. So that means the actual resistance is... Let me just get my probes in here. I've made sure to disconnect the power. It should be from here to here. Four point six k. So the closest to that is four point seven k. So I'll just whack one of those in there. So there it is, right there. And same results on the scope. Now I'm just going to remove the bypass capacitor and see how much that changes it. So let's see how much gain we've got now. I'll just turn that up just a little bit. So that's about two hundred and fifty millivolts peak to peak out, which gives us a gain of about five. So now you know. So here are three self-biasing preamp circuits. The one on the left is the valve circuit, which I tried in the previous video, and that had a gain of about 50. Here's the JFET circuit, which the best I could get out of it was 14. And just for the heck of it, I made a regular self-biasing NPN transistor preamp to see how that would compare, and that had a gain of about 30. So, all in all, it looks like the tube circuit has won out with the best overall amplification. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap up now. The JFET stuff really did not work as good as I thought it would. You see, I was gonna build a new microphone preamp which is gonna be the subject of the next video. Now, it's gonna be based on this circuit here except I was using JFET there and obviously connecting it up the way a JFET would be connected but it seemed to be incredibly hissy. However, this circuit here, using two BC109 transistors, seems to work really good. The circuit sounds good, it's got a good frequency response, very low distortion, and quite a good signal-to-noise ratio, and in fact, this is the circuit that you're listening to right now, plugged into my dynamic microphone. So, yeah, basically what we got here are two self-biasing Class A transistor stages. This one amplifies the signal, then this one amplifies it even further. The thing is, there's so much amplification that I put this resistor in here and that serves two important functions. One is it reduces the gain to a much more sane level and also it cuts back on some of the distortion with negative feedback. So we've got a pretty good and really sensitive microphone preamp here and Hiyoshi circuit on breadboard there's your circuit built. It's picking up a little bit of interference from the power supply and stuff like that because it's all open and unshielded. But anyway, I'm going to leave this for the next video. So, until next time, goodbye.